Hello. Hello. So we get this question quite often, how we met and how we fall in love and how we got here. Well, when I was 15, I worked at Dairy Queen and Cheryl Sun was my manager. So she used to come there all the time and see him or whatever. I never got to actually meet Cheryl at that time, but I got to see her. So, and then she would drive by in a baby blue Camaro. I remember that because that thing was nice. But I went into the store November 4th of 2020 and I was 23 at the time and I actually got to meet her because every day I would go there and buy stuff and she would be there. I'd be like, hey, how you doing? But that day I walked in, she was crying. So I seen her crying and me being the human I am, I have to consult her. What's going on? Why are you crying? She was like, I downloaded this app, it's TikTok and they were being hateful, all type of stuff. So I got in there, I was like, hey, she did a dance, popped her stuff. I was like, hey, you, you amazing girl, like you a star. So, you know, I told her, keep going. Don't let that hate stop you. And so a week later, I come back to the store, check on her, I was like, you okay, how you doing? She was like, I'm doing good, that 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 dance did good, you know, um, still on here. She was like, you wanna do a dance again? I was like, what, in the store? She was like, yeah, let's do it right here. And I was like, okay, you know, let's do it. And we did it, you know, wow. Well, you know, we killed it. It was pretty amazing. Our friendship grew from, you know, making TikToks together. We started making more and more TikToks. We started chilling more every day. Um, say around towards the middle of March, that's when it got really, we went viral one time. We got really closer. We um made these TikToks about our life um, and we got closer. We had conversations that opened up the floodgates to emotions. And we just talked about all the things we've been through, all the things that done hurt us, a lot of things that were in our past and in our life. And we told each other we were honest, we were truthful about it. We just, I don't know, it was a different feeling. You now, you know, I ain't, I don't have nothing against anybody uh, loving on anybody and love is love, right? I mean, I guess it's true what they say, beauties in the eyes of beholder. <laughs> but brothers, you know, I did a video, I don't know, I did a video about months ago. Uh, it was about brothers, they're always getting fat white girls. Now, I ain't got nothing against big girls. But I mean, well, every time I see the brother, he with a big fat white girl. Most of the time, I mean, some brothers have some bad white girls. I ain't, I'm not saying all of them, but I'm just saying, most of it seems like the preference is the big white girl. Now, when the white boy, when he get a sister, she be banging. I mean, slamming. Uh, you know? Well, I guess this is a new trend now. Brothers getting women look like granny from the Beverly Hillbillies. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know some of y'all going to be mad at me out there. Hey, I'm just keeping it real. But you know what I really think it is? See, when they make movies... Someone told me a long time ago when Hollywood make movies and stuff, you know what I'm saying? They make movies really be telling you what they actually really doing or what's going on. You know what I mean? Now, I ain't got nothing. I'm just telling y'all something from real. <laughs> that brother is a victim of Get Out. You know that movie Get Out? Ain't no real brother. That's her husband. <laughs> this is serious. That's her husband. That's her husband. And they don't want to snatch the black dude, the young black dude's body. <laughs> I mean, you, you hear he was talking like he rehearsing. It's like a white dude trying to talk black. And yeah, you know what? Uh, uh, like we just met, and then, and then she started dancing and stuff. We were like, <laughs> Boy, man, they done snatched the brother's bike, man. That I believe that get out is for real. Come on now, I mean, come on. 
I mean, come on, y'all, for real. And you know, yeah, when I, and then she waiting for a body. She stay with her time is soon too. And I bet he he might come on months later with another female. And I yeah, you better watch out. That might be more like it's her in the sister's body. I ain't lying. <laughs> Brothers beware. Brothers, don't be walking in the dark street by yourselves. <laughs> This is an invasion of the body snatchers. I, all right. You know what I mean? They come laughing and joking and stuff like that, but come on. Hey, that's her husband in real life. All that little, that little story they got up there that they made up, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Well, you know, I'm just saying, you know what? Man, get out of here. <laughs> All right. I'm out. End of, this End of this discussion with me. I'm through. <laughs> oh. Hmm.